So you wanna wop 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 wop. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Spike. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make this cool like explosive thing. That was the peanuts reference. Did you guys get that reference or no? Okay, we're just gonna pretend that you did if you didn't. Okay. Um. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want to go ahead and um get started today. Let's go ahead and uh, hit Shift A, and we'll search for a mesh plane. Hit S to scale this bad boy up a little bit, and then hit like G. Z to move this bad boy down underneath the cube so the cube is not you know so it's not like you know clipping through it we'll select our cube and then we'll go on over to the right hand side panel and we'll go on down here to a couple different things you can see we can move on down to the where is it uh the particles tab right here and we, we're not going to add a particle system here we're going to go up to the top and we're going to go to object and go down to quick effects and then go quick explode now when we do this you can see that when we hit play um, it'll like break everything apart, which is, you know, not exactly what I want it to look like, but I'm going to, I'm going to change my, my start frame to zero. So now you can see it just kind of breaks apart and falls through the plane. So the first thing I'm going to do is take care of it falling through the plane. So let's go ahead and select the plane and then go to the, um, to the, uh, what's this called? The physics tab. That's correct. Go to the physics tab and then check on collision. Now when we play this again, you can see that it will now bounce on the plane, which looks really good, but they disappear like really quickly. And there's like a lot of other problems that we need to deal with as well. So let's go back to the particle tab here, uh, particle tab. Um, and the first thing I want to do is we can change the number of particles, like 500. This won't change too much right now, but, um, let's go ahead and just scroll on down and we'll do a couple of things here. We'll check rotation and then we'll open it up. And then we'll check dynamic. Now you can see when we play this again, it'll look a little different. Now the cube actually looks like it's breaking apart instead of it just like coming out of nowhere and just like, you know, smashing into random pieces like that. Like that's not even like, what is this? Like, that's just like, what, what, where, where'd the cube go? You know what I mean? What, what's, where, where, where'd it go? But if we turn rotation on, you can see that now, oh, oh, now the cube's breaking apart. Wild. Nice. So the reason the cubes, uh, the reason the pieces are so big is because this has no subdividing on it at all it has there's no subdivisions it's completely just massive so let's hit tab and right click subdivide and right click subdivide maybe you know three or four times and then hit tab to go back out of that again and you can see when we play it we have a lot more small pieces which is exactly what we need now um you can see they disappear still have the frame 50 so let's go to the uh lifetime and change the lifetime from 50 to 100 and then i'll make my end frame 100 as well nice now we play this the particles last a long time they're good but now they're bouncing everywhere like they have absolutely no physics whatsoever because they've never seen the light of day and they don't know what real life is so let's go ahead and scroll on down to physics and then we can change a couple of things here so um what we need to do actually is take a look at where is it da, 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 da. take a look at this angular velocity first real quick so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this in a little bit but this is going to help us get rid of a lot of the weird motion that we that we're going to be seeing um in a, in a second here so if we scroll on down to uh if we scroll on down to the uh the collision setting settings on the plane on the plane here you can see that if we change the permeability the permeability and the stickiness if i change the stickiness to about let's say two and then play this you can see that the particles no longer do some weird stuff but they still do kind of slide everywhere so that's kind of strange i'm just going to turn the friction all the way up to a one so now when they break you can see they kind of bounce a little bit and then they stay there now the issue that we're still having is you can see when they when they kind of still they kind of move a little bit you see how they're moving slightly like take a look at this one right here like this bad boy is kind of just like sliding like randomly for no reason now the reason this is is because if we select our cube and then go back to the particle system you can see that um if we go down to angular velocity this is on point one if we put this on zero they'll completely stop moving so now um they'll kind of just bounce and then they'll just sit there but if we turn the angular velocity up you can see they will go ahead and spin like crazy like they're a mario coin that's been waiting to be picked up so that yeah that's just that's what they look like to me mario coins just Bim, 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 bim. Yeah, like that, like those, the ones you pick up. Um, so let's go ahead and turn that to zero. And now they don't move anymore and they don't look strange and they're not twirling. Now, if we take a look at this, they are very, very flat. That's the issue that we're having right now. They're really flat and they're not 3D. They're kind of like 2D little pieces, which is fine if you want that. But let's go to the let's go to the modifier tab. Hit add modifier. And then scroll on down until you find solidify. Now we can see uh instantly they, they have a little bit of thickness to them. But if you want to go ahead and turn that up a little bit more, you can see we have some really nice, like glass looking pieces. It's really cool. You can go crazy and turn the thickness up like 
heka like that and then it'll be like really thick pieces which could look cool too but for today i do i i, I usually do thick pieces so i want to do thinner pieces today so let's go ahead and do some thin pieces like that that looks really cool i like that a lot so let's go ahead and um do the last thing i want to do which is material so let's go ahead and go to the material tab we'll turn on render viewport shading um and then you can see here that what this does is it's kind of it's kind of like fading away is what it's doing so if we go to the back to the modifier tab here you can see we have explode fade here checked now if we uncheck that um you can see if we uncheck that you can see they won't fade they don't fade at all they kind of just stay there in like glass which looks really cool um but if you want them to fade then definitely keep explode fade on but if you don't go ahead get rid of that real quick um and then we can go ahead and change either we can change this entire material or we can use this like glass material that they have set up we can use that that that'll be just what it is we can change the color here by changing this this here and i, should, I think also this one we change the blue color there not on the color ramp but on uh, the principal bsdf change the color there i want a different color glass looks really cool this is a really good glass material actually but if you don't want that go ahead and hit this little uh hit this little duplicate button right there and then we can go ahead and change this by hitting use nodes and then getting rid of all of the extra stuff that we don't need. So getting rid of the mix shader um, and then just adding a principal BSDF. And then we can go ahead and change this to a nice blue color like that. And you can see we have some really, oh, we can change the blend mode from that to opaque as well. So change it from alpha clip or alpha hash, I think it was alpha blend. Yeah, it was blend. Change from alpha blend to opaque. And now you can see we have regular, you know, material pieces and colors we can turn the specular up we can turn the roughness down we can turn the metallic up a little bit you know what i mean we can just do different things with it but yeah ladies and gentlemen that is how you make a cube explode in blender that is it right there with some nice physics it looks really really cool so hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye